Okay, so I just want to share with you that this mock-up could have been done in fireworks, in Illustrator, in Photoshop. I prefer to do my mock-ups and my layout in fireworks because fireworks supports layers and transparencies because fireworks is a PNG web design tool. Photoshop is a great tool, but it's not a great tool for the web. Photoshop's a great tool for broadcast graphics and print design, which it's designed for. But Photoshop by default creates a PSD file. A PSD file, Photoshop document, is not web publishable. However, Fireworks was built from the ground up to be a web design tool. We're going to have some videos on Fireworks in upcoming up 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 this month. So Fireworks' native file format is PNG. So therefore, when you save a file in Fireworks, I can put it right to my web page because it's browser friendly. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphic. PNG supports continuous tone like a JPEG. PNG also supports transparency. PNG files also supports layers. So I prefer to do mockups in Fireworks. Okay, so let's just review a few things for our first video here. So we have wrapper tag. That's the entire outside bounding tag. Now, if in fact you want your page to be in the center, we need to create rules for the wrapper tag here. So again, don't call your div tags where they're located. Call them what they contain. What they contain, not where they're located. Don't call something my header div my left div, my bottom div. The only exception to that is the footer div because the footer div is always, always, always at the bottom, hence the word footer. Okay, so inside of Dreamweaver, so let's get started with a new file, file, new, command N, control N, we're gonna make a new file. Now, we're gonna make a new HTML5 document. Now, we're not gonna spend much time today working with HTML5 tags. We're simply gonna do the layout in div tags to keep this simple, simple, simple with div tags. I'm just gonna use the div tag to create the layout of my comp. Okay, so of course, the first thing I always do to my file is save the file. So let's just simply call this client comp version one. That's the title of the page, not the name of the file. Let's save the file. So let's save the file inside of a folder, inside of a folder called client comp one. If I learn how to spell, that'd be a good thing. Client comp one. Inside this folder, we'll simply call the index page index version one. Okay, make a change, save a change. Good app to get into. Now, we need to have our CSS palette up here, which we don't. So we're going to put a style CSS palette, and I want to select all. All right, now, we're going to build right over on top of the comp that we've created here, okay? So how do we do that? We're going to bring in a trace image as a comp. We can do that by hitting command J, control J for Windows, and J for Macintosh. Go to tracing image, navigate your way where the file is kept. Now, I, inside my root folder, have a folder called client comps. Inside of, I'm sorry, inside my root folder, so what I want to do here is bring up my CSS palette here, and before we go further, we should save the file. So we command J, command J, control J for Windows, and we bring in our tracing comp. So we select tracing comp, navigate away to where I keep it inside my site root folder. 
inside of coin comp and inside the folder called coin comp I have a PNG file called coin comp version 1 as opposed to version 2 version 3 organization is very very important okay so we're gonna hit okay so that brings it in the comp the comp that we want to use for our design here Okay, so let's zoom out of here by hitting Command minus, Command minus, we'll zoom out. Okay, now if you don't have your rulers up here, you definitely want to have your rulers here to basically build your design comp. Command Option R brings up rulers, Control Option R for Windows. Okay, now important step here. We're going to put a series of guides to help us to design this comp. We're going to build CSS right over on top of this and in our markup. We mark this up to design, so we're going to have branding, div tag, site nav, div tag, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to follow these exact steps to create our site. Very simply done. Now, I just want to share with you a great technique here. I'm going to take a guide, and I'm going to put a guide right here. And I'm going to put another guide on the other side. Now, this is saying it's going to be 990 pixels wide. Okay, now what I want to do here, I want to reset zero by default here. Zero is up here on the top left hand corner. I want to set this to be zero here, so it counts from here. So how can I do that? Just like in Illustrator or Photoshop, I can take my guide and I can set zero to be right there. So I'm going to set zero to be at the top left corner of my div tag. The first div tag we're going to put on the page is the e wrapper div tag okay so we're going to go to the layout palette and we're going to select the insert div tag we're going to call the div tag wrapper so very important step here it's simply a div tag it's all going to be div tags we're going to name this particular div tag so we can talk to it differently we're going to give a name of wrapper so Here's our div tag called wrapper, id wrapper. Okay, make a change, save a change. Good have to get into. Okay, now our wrapper div tag doesn't have a width and a height, so we're going to give it a width and a height. Okay, so we're going to make it 990 pixels wide, and the height will self adjust. So we're going to select the tag, and come over here, select the tag, and make a rule. In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. We're going to make a rule for this particular div tag. And we're going to make a rule that tells it to be 900 pixels wide. Okay. Now, important step here. I haven't created my body tag and my wrapper tag and all the other HTML tags. I'm just keeping this tutorial very simple on how to place and how to build div tags. Okay. So we'll continue this in our next video. I just want to make these videos short, sweet, to the point. This way you can navigate each video to find that particular topic. So stay tuned.